Now, no recycling would be possible without the private sector. We are fortunate in Hamilton County to have a strong recycling infrastructure, which consists of more than 20 businesses that collect materials ranging from metals, paper, to mixed materials. One of the service providers for the bar and restaurant recycling program is Rumpke Recycling. Rumpke Recycling is the region's, uh, I believe, largest residential recycling facility and has recently upgraded their material recovery facility in St. Bernard and does have some exciting plans for glass recycling. We're, we're very honored today to have Amanda Pratt, director of Rumpke's Corporate Communications with Rumpke Consolidated Companies to talk to us today about their program and their, I'm hoping, their glass plans. Yes. Yes. Great. Right. Please welcome Amanda Pratt. Good evening. Um, Rumpke is excited and honored to be part of this program. Um, I want to thank everyone that's been involved, all the organizations that play such a significant role in the advancement of this program, including Mayor Mallory's <coughs> Professionals Kitchen Cabinet, the City of Cincinnati, Hamilton County Department of Environmental Services, and the many restaurant and bar owners who are stepping up and, and adding a recycling program to, the, to their business. Rumpke is very dedicated to offering a complete solid waste solution for the region, and that complete solution involves waste reduction, extensive recycling, and of course, um, an essential and environmentally sound waste disposal option. As part of our commitment to recycling and our effort to be an active partner in, the re in growing recycling throughout our region, um, this year alone we have set aside $20 million to invest in our recycling centers throughout Ohio and Kentucky. We've also made a recent commitment and investment in our Dayton Glass Processing Facility. Now most of the glass collected here, and actually all of the glass collected here in Cincinnati, goes through our processing center, um, which is on Vine Street, and then we transport the glass product to our Dayton Glass Facility. And there we process it further and it becomes a raw material. And it, it used to just become a raw material for the fiberglass industry. But this year we'll be investing $2.5 million to upgrade that facility. And we're partnering with Owens, Illinois, which is one of the nation's largest glass container manufacturing companies. So they're gonna actually take these glass containers from bars and restaurants and turn them back into glass containers. And it's really something innovative and we're one of the only companies in this region to be taking on the challenge of creating this type of raw material. So we're really excited about it and you guys are, are wanna play a big role in making this program successful. Um, recycling from our standpoint only works when we have involvement, it's, it's a team effort. We need involvement from consumers, businesses, the government, um, of course waste collectors and the manufacturers who make the new products from these raw materials. This partnership is truly a wonderful example of what can be done when groups get together. And Rumpke is very excited to work with all of you, and, but also this is a great example that we can share in some of our other service regions as to what success is, is achievable when groups work together and there's a synergy and um, an effort to definitely reduce the amount of trash going to our landfills and increase our recycling efforts. So thank you all for, for your efforts and we welcome new future innovations and we hope we can continue this partnership. Thank you. Now you're going to hear firsthand from an establishment that started a recycling program recently. The Relish Restaurant Group, which includes the Bistro, Lobomatic, Grammars, Tonic on 4th, Local 127, and several other restaurants and bars outside Hamilton County. They began recycling earlier this year. We are thankful for their commitment to recycling, especially in an industry that is so fast paced. I mean, having, having worked in a bar many, many years ago, I understand how difficult it is to be behind that bar, but also to have to separate the materials. I really uh, take my hat off to bars and restaurants that are taking this on. So we're going to hear from Summer Crenshaw, Director of Marketing for the Relish Restaurant Group, to hear about um, how successful the recycling program is going and their commitment to recycling. Summer? Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for coming out to Grammar's Bar. I hope everybody found it okay. We are in over the Rhines. I know it kind of, you know, it's a little hairy getting out here. Um, I want to thank everyone for um, 
you know, initiating this program, especially Hamilton County um, Recycling Services, they have been phenomenal with us, um, made this transition so easy. In March of this year, um, four of our restaurants located in downtown Cincinnati, um, and of course, Grammar Park, uh, launched this program. Um, since that time, we have actually recycled 11.3 tons of waste, um, which is tremendous when you think about that compounded um, across how many organizations that are already currently involved, um, business owners like Max Pizza, um, that are also recycling. And um, I think this is going to be an amazing opportunity for this to just grow um, and make it a trend and make it, you know, something that is the rule and not the exception. Our organization has always been committed to utilizing environmentally friendly <coughs> materials and also making sure that we're giving back to our local economy using local purveyors. So this was just a great natural fit for us. Um, we obviously encourage every business owner to also implement uh, this program as well. Thank you guys. Thank you. And before I close, Matt, do you mind if I tell your success story? Please go. <laughs> this is Matt from Max Pizza Pub in, in Clifton. And you started a program, what, three or four months ago? We implemented finally about five months ago, five months but it took me about nine months to do it. Okay. Um, but <laughs> Shell came in to save the day. And correct me if I'm wrong, you went from getting your garbage picked up five days a week. We had one uh, container getting picked up, one uh, large, large dumpster getting picked up five times a week. Now it gets picked up once. We have a cardboard only dumpster getting picked up twice a week and a smaller co mingled container getting picked up twice a week. So I saved money. Yeah, so that's another great success story, um, especially we want bars to save money. That's, mm -hmm. that's another great asset of this program. So thank you for sharing that story, Matt, and for your persistence in with the recycling. Once I have the tools, getting the staff to do it, I have a younger staff, a lot of college kids. You were talking about a generational thing. Once I had the tools, they were on board yeah. immediately. It was easy. Great. Thank you for sharing that. So are there any other bars or restaurants here that we've worked with that are here today that I don't want to just to make sure. We do have about eight bars that started through this program and another eight or so that started prior to our program that we're still providing materials to to help them continue to promote their program. I also want to again thank uh, the Mayor's Young Professional Kitchen Cabinet. Cecil Patterson is here today. And is Greener Cincinnati here? There it is. And Greener Cincinnati, which is an outshoot of the Chamber's Sea Change Group, who really helped us push this initiative as well. Thank you very much for your help. We really appreciate it. And also UC's DAP program, um, their students and alumni are helping promote this program in Clifton. Uh, we do have flyers on the table in the back of the room before you leave, so the bars that you frequent or restaurants that you frequent, feel free to hand them out to them. We're looking forward to having our phones ringing off the hook uh, over the next few weeks. So on behalf of the Hamilton County Recycling and Solid Waste District, thank you very much for your support of recycling and for coming out tonight to help us launch this program. I'd like to thank Grammers and the Relish Restaurant Group for hosting this evening. And that concludes the event. Thank you for coming.